Hi everybody, welcome to my video. I begin in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to help me as I record your words. I beg you to dip every word I speak in your precious blood so that they will reach the hearts and minds of all those you wish to communicate with. I ask this of the Father in your holy, sweet, and precious name, my Jesus. Amen. Um, uh, this particular message is, is entitled, Jesus Speaks About Judgment. And he appears to my friend in a vision and says to her, Right, beloved, I will speak. I will come to judge the living and the dead. The living being those who live in me, whether they are still here upon the earth or have left it. The living are those who hear my word, understand my teaching, follow me to the letter, and also those who, although they follow me in the main, at times still stray from my teachings, whether it be of through their own accord or through the influence of the evil one. They are still alive, still waiting to be rescued by me through holiness. These are the living. They are not dead in sin, but wait with hope for my coming. But dead are those who have strayed too far away from me to be rescued, too far to be delivered because of their own volition. They have separated themselves from us, from heaven, from the eternal Father and me. These are the dead. They are dead in the spirit. They cannot be recalled to life. I will judge them also, for all are to be judged, whether separate or altogether, for all are to be judged, and the judgment comes about through what is in the soul. For I will inspire man to see himself as he truly is, and to take the path which he has prepared for himself. Those who walk upon the pathway I have laid out for them have also helped in the preparation of their own path, as it were. Those who take a contrary pathway, following the evils which separate them from me, have also, in the main, contributed towards creating their own paths. So be it. When I speak of pathways, of course, you realize I do not mean a roadway on which a workman has used a trowel with cement to make of it a physical thing. You are aware that I mean a spiritual pathway, which each soul um, must tread for you are each upon a pathway from the moment of birth through rebirth in me by water, baptism, and by fire, confirmation in the spirit, and onwards after leaving the testing ground of earth. And the judgment is not within a moment of time uh, when I will ask what you have done wrong or bless you for what has been done right, but a judgment which began with your own birth and so ever forward with you while you were upon the path. The judgment will be the culmination of all that took place in time, that is, within the time of your existence. The final judgment, as it were, will be then the time when you will be able to adjust the scales, to watch it balance. The final judgment will be the adjustment of the scales. It is so. Adjustment because many whose scales tipped one way or another during their lifetime will be able to see how the balancing of this comes about. Woe unto those whose scales cannot be evenly balanced or does not wait up towards heaven, for the imbalance of the scales can neither take you, uh, for the imbalance of the scales can either take you down, for the greater weight goes down, or up with the lighter. And this is a spiritual matter, so it does not work as a physical scale, up to the higher realms. Woe to those whose scales balance unevenly with the mud of evils, for it is upon this they will sit, they will sit to be dragged down into the realms of evil. Blessed are those whose greater side of the scale is light, light enough to take them up, for it is upon this that they too will sit to rise to the brighter realm of light and joy and peace. Beware of the imbalancing of your scales. This too is part of the plan of creation, the scales and the cross, the symbols of which you should be aware. For each man comes to the earth with a cross which he himself will decorate with the gems of goodness or desecrate 
as he chooses, and a pair of scales with which you should keep the balance. I tell you this so you would know. Regard them as symbols of each man's worth. Some are crucified upon the cross they brought with them. Others keep it as a symbol of the one who was crucified for them, as it has been decreed. Gather the gems of patient suffering, of charity, and of all goodness to decorate your cross. It will be a shining light before you when the time of final judgment is at hand. It is also useful towards tipping the scales. If it seems that I speak in riddles, they who will understand will understand. For it is not in riddles, but in analogies. So be it. And may we be blessed by these holy words. Amen.